praise the Lord Church. Thank you for um, coming on and listening um, and everything I say and my life today is because of God and I want to give him all the glory for he deserves it all really. I have a story that I would like to share that is found in Luke 18 and it's about the persistent widow woman who um, was so persistent in what she asked for uh, to a judge that doesn't even fear God but at the end because of her persistency because of her asking because of her never-ending endurance she received what she um, asked for and um, before Jesus told this parable he told them that in at all times they ought to pray and not to lose heart and I believe in life it's so easy to say that we pray and everything's going to be all right but with this story I pray this encourages you to not lose heart in what you're praying for if it is the will of God it's going to happen and so many times in my life um, God has shown that if I'm persistent in praying if I keep seeking what God has for me it will be fulfilled I have um, a few testimonies where when I was a bit younger um, we went to a mission trip to Fiji with Pastor Stan, Pastor Jacob and um, a few of us um, young ones and that really changed my life and um, it really showed me that God is real because that's what I was seeking for like I prayed that God if you're real really show me there and from that moment from that um, trip I really committed to um, see God and I wanted to please him I wanted to live for him for myself and um, then after that as I grew of course there's decision making and um, life happens you know and um, I was at, at a time where I um, was studying TAFE and that was really hard for me um, just to get it all done and understand everything if um, many of you know that I sew um, I do alterations um, and now because I prayed and I I was fasting for one year to be able to get a job in my industry um, and to finish TAFE for some that could be like very like oh that's a small thing or, like you'll get a job but um, if you're in my situation and in my shoes it would be it's something different but with God's mercy he gave me a job and a really good job um, before I had Sophia I was a manager and all glory to God in the in a place where I love to work and I finished TAFE and throughout that year I prayed specifically that God will send um, the right person for me that I'll marry and I know it's a cliche thing like pray and God will give you a husband um, but more so than just like I just want a husband but I wanted to do God's will um, and live for God together and so I prayed and I fasted I saw God for his will and I prayed specific things for this man to be um, my husband and God be the glory he fulfilled all of them um, and it's a long story but um, if you did want to know the whole story come to me and ask me um, but through this times in my lives in my life I have seen the power of prayer God has took me through these seasons and I prayed for his will and it was fulfilled because it's for him and his glory and I know it's it's 
not as some like but this is big for me and one scripture that really encouraged me was in Hebrews 10 36 and it says for you have need of endurance so that when you have done the will of God you may receive what was promised so I want to encourage someone today if you have a prayer if you have something in your heart pray to him seek with all your heart give it to him no matter how long it takes no matter what it is if it's God's will it'll be fulfilled so just don't give up just like what Jesus said at all times pray but don't lose heart because so many times we've prayed and it hasn't happened and like we just give up but God wants to see our persistency, how real it is to us. And from that, you will see the miracle, the power of God in your life.